The dust filter is an essential component of your W&H Lisa sterilizer. It filters the air passing through the internal components in order to provide effective cooling. The filter can be found directly beneath the main door. Prior to undertaking any regular maintenance work to your sterilizer, all health and safety, cross-infection and cross-contamination protocols must be followed. Gloves and safety goggles should be worn. Before proceeding to replace the filter, you must ensure your sterilizer is not running a cycle. The dust filter should be changed at regular intervals of 400 cycles or every three months, whichever is sooner. By replacing the filter, you ensure your sterilizer has a component that remains effective at filtering the air which passes through it. If the dust filter is heavily clogged with dust, it must be replaced. Your Lisa sterilizer will automatically prompt you when the life of the dust filter has expired and needs to be replaced. Alternatively, you may view the number of cycles remaining for the filter from within the maintenance screen of the menu. To change your filter, simply pull the filter directly towards you by the handle until it has been fully removed. The old dust filter can be removed from the handle by gently pulling the retaining clips apart. A new filter can now be fitted to the dust filter handle. The two holes present on the filter should be lined up with the location studs on the handle. The filter can then be reinserted into position. Once a new filter has been fitted, navigate to the maintenance screen within the menu. From here you can perform a manual reset of the dust filter counter. Resetting the counter will ensure that the maintenance reminder automatically reappears after another 400 cycles have been completed. Now navigate back to the cycle selection screen to return your Lisa sterilizer ready for normal operation. Further information on product maintenance, compliance testing and current national decontamination guidance can be found on this website. For all other inquiries, please click Contact Us or email us at the following address.